This is the Sabbath School lesson for the third quarter, 2021. Lesson three from the series Rest in Christ is titled Roots of Restlessness, ready for teaching on July 17, and I'm Percy Harold. Tuesday, July 13, Ambition. Studying the last week of Jesus' ministry on earth prior to his crucifixion is always a source of encouragement and inspiration. It also offers a snapshot of how restlessness and ambition drive people to do and say ill-advised things. Question, read Luke 22, verses 14 to 30, and think about Jesus' emotions as he hears his disciples argue during this solemn meal over who among them should be considered the greatest. In verse 24, Why did the disciples get sidetracked from this momentous occasion and focus on human greatness? Luke 22, beginning at verse 14. When the hour had come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him. Then he said to them, With fervent desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say to you, I will no longer eat of it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took the cup and gave thanks, and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood which is shed for you. But Behold, the hand of my betrayer is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man goes as it has been determined. But woe to that man by whom he is betrayed. Then they began to question among themselves which of them it was who would do this thing. Now there was also a dispute among them as to which of them should be considered the greatest. And he said to them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and those who exercise authority over them are called benefactors. But not so among you. On the contrary, he who is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he who governs as he who serves. For who is greater, he who sits at the table or he who serves? Is it not he who sits at the table? Yet I am among you as the one who serves. But... You are those who have continued with me in my trials, and I bestow upon you a kingdom, just as my father bestowed one upon me, that you may eat and drink at my table in the kingdom, and sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. We seldom discuss with others who is the greatest in our church or family or our workplace. We may think about it a lot, but who really openly talks about it? This was not the first time that this question was raised in the community of Jesus' followers. Matthew 18.1 reports the disciples bringing the question to Jesus and framing it in a more abstract way. Who then is greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus' answer involved an object lesson. After calling a child, he sets the child in the centre of the group. Eyes are opened wide, eyebrows are raised. Jesus' action requires an explanation. And in Matthew 18.3, the Master offers that too. Assuredly, I say to you, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Conversion is foundational for finding true rest in Jesus. We recognize that we need outside help. We suddenly realize that we cannot depend on ourselves, but need to rely on Jesus. We experience a transformation of our values and ambitions. Jesus tells his disciples, Trust me and rely on me as this child does. True greatness is giving up your rights and embracing kingdom values. Unfortunately, it seems that the disciples had not yet learned this lesson by the time Jesus ate the Last Supper with them. Their bickering and infighting ruined a moment of perfect communion that was never to be replaced. All this, even after years of being with Jesus, ministering with Jesus, and hearing and learning at his feet, what a sad example of just how corrupt the human heart remains. On the more positive side, however, 
Think about the ever-present reality of the Lord's grace that despite this pathetic discussion among his followers, Jesus doesn't give up on them. And so, to finish today, why should keeping our focus on Jesus on the cross be a powerful remedy against the desire for self-exaltation, which, as fallen human beings, all of us are subject to? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. It's supported by the Sabbath School Department and Hope Channel Australia and is rebroadcast by Christian Record Services and through podcasts at It Is Written in the United States, Hope Channel Germany and through Apple iTunes and SoundCloud. Remember, God is always faithful.